Over the weekend, we saw yet another example of cancel culture, and proving that it is in fact real, regardless of what people on the left may think. In this instance, Mimi Groves was kicked out of college because of a social justice mob led by Jimmy Galligan, who was a horrible, garbage human being. Now, they were both in high school together, and we'll explain exactly who they are in a moment, because you probably don't even know those names. This is a story that came out over the weekend, and even though I kind of missed when it was popular, it's so frustrating and abhorrent to me that I just wanted to talk about it here. So hopefully by the end of the video, you understand why this is such a horrible thing that happened. This comes from the New York Times, where they say a racial slur, a viral video, and a reckoning. Our story begins not recently, but four years ago, when Mimi Groves got her learner's permit. She was excited, understandably, and decided to Snapchat a friend saying, I can drive, and then said the n-word. Now obviously, I am not condoning what she said because she shouldn't have said that, but keep in mind, this was four years ago when she was 15 years old. So why are we talking about this now? Because this all happened in 2016. Well now, Jimmy Galligan, this horrible, terrible person, enters the story. He went to the same high school as the girl we just talked about, and apparently one day in history class, one of his friends sent him a video showing her saying that word. It's the same video we just talked about. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And understandably, he was upset because he's biracial. So I'm not going to say that his feelings here are not justified, but I will say, without a shadow of a doubt, his actions are not justified. Instead of taking the rational approach and talking to Mimi about it, or even the teachers or the principal, he wants revenge. In his own words, I wanted to get her where she would understand the severity of that word. He decided to post it publicly when the time was right. So he held on to it for a year. During that time, Mimi Groves had graduated high school and was accepted to the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, which apparently had a really good cheer team, so it was her dream school. And she actually made it onto the cheer team. So things were looking up for her. But little did she know that some vindictive little loser was about to ruin all of it. According to the New York Times, Mr. Galligan had waited until Miss Groves had chosen a college and then publicly posted the video. Within hours, it had been shared to Snapchat, TikTok, and Twitter, where furious calls mounted for the University of Tennessee to revoke its admissions offer. Now, just to reiterate where this story started, four years ago, when she was 15 years old, Mimi Groves said a bad word. That is where all of this started. And the end result? Over the next two days, Miss Groves was removed from the university's cheer team, and she withdrew from the school under pressure from admissions officials. So within just a few days, not only was she kicked off the cheer team, but the university made it very clear that she should resign and not attend their college. I ask you, does that seem like an appropriate response to saying a bad word when you are a 15-year-old idiot teenager? I don't think so. And this is why Jimmy Galligan is a garbage human being, because he has no regrets. If I never posted that video, nothing would have ever happened. He also said, I'm going to remind myself, you started something. You taught someone a lesson. And what exactly is the lesson that he taught? Well, apparently, if you see someone make a mistake, you should hold on to that mistake and only make it public when it can cause the most possible damage. And that is apparently a good thing and you should feel satisfied. This is why Jimmy Galligan is a horrible person. And I have no problem calling him out publicly because only a terrible garbage human being does something like this. You were offended by something that someone said, and I'm sorry about that, but you waited until you could hurt them in the most damaging and public way possible. That is not something we should do in a civilized society. You are not civilized if you take those actions. And you're also not civilized if you think it was acceptable, like the people on the New York Times comment section. For example, David from Boston, Massachusetts said, that Miss Groves and her family keep claiming her life is ruined because she got kicked out of her dream school. But it's not. She's white and her family is well off. So she should just roll with the punches because, you know, she's white. Nothing bad can ever happen to white people. She will be fine. If you read this story and you somehow think that Jimmy Galligan is the hero and Mimi Groves is the villain, then you have some serious issues. No one in this story is a hero. She should not have said the N-word. But people make mistakes and it pales in comparison to actively trying to ruin someone's life and cause them the most damage possible. Those two things are not equivalent. One is a mistake, and it was a bad mistake, and one was purposely done to hurt someone. If you agree with people on the left like this, there can be no forgiveness and no repentance for someone like her, even though she was only a teenager when she said the N-word. That's not good enough, and she should be punished for who knows how long because of one stupid mistake that she made. And in case you're wondering, Nowhere in this New York Times article does Jimmy allege that Mimi 
discriminated against, or said anything else racist that he was aware of. All we heard was this one instance four years ago, but in his mind, that was enough to ruin her reputation and publicly humiliate her. And this is a perfect example of cancel culture. You don't have to be a conservative. You don't have to be popular to be hit by cancel culture. All you have to do is say one wrong thing at one point in time, and that's enough. Your life should be ruined. As always, thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And if you disagree with me for any reason, let me know why you think what Jimmy Galligan did is in any way defensible, because I really don't think it is. And if you do agree with me, well, make sure you're subscribed, because we have a lot in common, apparently. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.